Welcome. I would like to present our publication regarding scalable and modular ultra-wideband added inertial navigation. My name is Roland Jung and together with my co-author Professor Weiss, we are from the Control of Network Systems Group at the University of Klagenfurt. In this work, we revisit the infrastructure-based ultra-wideband localization problem where individual range measurements are tightly fused in an extended gamma filter in order to recover the 6 degree of freedom pose of a rigid body with respect to a navigation frame. The setup includes a set of stationary ultra-wideband ranging devices, so-called anchors, and a moving rigid body incorporating a range device, a so-called tag, an IMU and barometer. The aim was to study the self-calibration -cal capabilities of the estimated anchor positions by incorporating range measurements between them in order to compensate initialization errors. Since all estimated states needed to be treated as part of the system's global full state, pro problems regarding the computational complexity arise. To reduce the computational complexity, we apply our decoupled approximated history approach. Recently, Luft et al. proposed approximations for the filter update steps that allows isolated private and trend observation by neglecting estimates of non-participants. In this figure, a global full state of four sensor states is shown. In an isolated trend observation between sensor 1 and sensor 2, the joint coherence of so-called participants, held in blue, can be restored exactly, but the cross coherence terms of non-participants, shown in the purple square, have to be corrected by an approximated factor. These correction factors are maintained in a sliding window buffer and allows to restore data correlation between estimates at the moment they are needed again. Globally seen, these approximations lead to conservative estimates and non-participants' beliefs obtain no correction, but it reduces the computational complexity significantly. We evaluated different fusion strategies in simulation on two scenarios. In the first scenario, we wanted to evaluate the filter consistency on a synthetic trajectory with synthetic measurements. Therefore. 20 anchors were randomly distributed on a sphere and 5 anchors were assumed to be known exactly to define a local reference frame. The results show that our approach is 22 times faster than a modular centralized EKF approach and that it is almost invariant to the number of sensors in the system. To evaluate the anchor self-calibration, we initialize them with an error greater than 30 centimeters among three different sensor constellations. The best estimation results were obtained by incorporating range measurements between anchors and it was leading to an average anchor position error below 2 centimeters. Further, the filter credibility was assessed by computing the average normalized estimation error squared over 10 Monte Carlo simulation runs. This revealed that the estimated anchor positions are converging slower and tend to be more pessimistic compared to the centralized equivalent filter formulation. The reason is that the introduced approximations inflate the joint a posterior covariance and non-participating but correlated states obtain no correction. In the second evaluation, we simulated a more realistic interlocalization problem using the machine hole sequences of the EUROC dataset. Again, we used an IMU, barometer, tag and 25 anchors which were distributed across the trajectories, while 5 of them were set to be fixed. The ultra-wideband communication range was lowered to 4 meters and the effective rate between the tag and other anchors in range was set to 8 hertz. We compared to filter strategies again in 10 Monte Carlo simulation runs. Again, the proposed approach was 26 times faster while being slightly less accurate. The average anchor error 
uh, was below 7 cm, starting from approximately 10 cm. The average absolute trajectory error was below 13 cm and 2 degrees with consistent navigation state estimates. Summarized, fully meshed arc wideband ranging is an yield scaling estimation program that improved the anchor self calibration. By decoupling the anchor estimates, the computational cost was significantly reduced, while at the same time the accuracy was slightly decreased. Further, the anchor estimates seemed to be slightly overconfident and converged slower, while the navigation states remained consistent. In our future work, we are interested in online flyby initialization of newly added or unknown anchors in communication range. Further, we would like to do more investigation on detecting non-line-of-sight non conditions through statistical outlier rejection. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please send me an email or ask me directly. And if you're interested in the work, um, please follow the link in the QR code.